Well, the World Bank says sub-Saharan Africa's economy is rapidly growing. In 2013, African countries are focusing on improving their infrastructure and managing their wealth of natural resources. African finance ministers recently stressed that Africa needs to strengthen the implementation of structural reforms in order to maintain its annual average growth of around 5%. For more perspective on Africa's economy, I'm joined by the Rwandan Minister of Finance, Klava Gatete, and Tas Avanpour, Director of Business Development and Head of Africa 50 with the African Development Bank. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if I may start with you, uh, Mr. Minister, some say that uh, the so-called impressive growth on the ground uh, does not really reflect on the lives of ordinary citizens, so most of whom, especially the young, have no jobs, many have no access to health care, and a great majority really do not have access to quality education. What's your thought first, Mr. Minister? Yeah, that's not the case in Rwanda, for sure, because we are one of the few countries that are promoting inclusive growth uh, in all aspects, where our economy that has been growing really significantly, on average 8.2%, in the last 10 years, and the poverty levels have come down from uh, around 78% in 1996 to now uh, below 45%, uh, showing that we are attacking it from both sides. But at the same time, it's benefiting all the other sectors. In education, we are one of the very few countries that have uh, universal free primary and secondary education. Our enrollment rate at the primary school level is 96.5%. 90, mm -hmm. In the health sector, uh, really all the numbers have come down. Oh, the okay. maternal mortality rate has come down by half. Uh, the infant mortality, the under five mortality, they have all come down by slightly more than half. So this is quite significant. And we are the only country, by the way, in Africa that has universal uh, health insurance for all the people, rural and urban, uh, which is quite significant. So uh, that, uh, that yes. means actually Rwanda is doing way better than many African countries. Uh, how did you, uh, emerging from a genocide not many years ago, mm -hmm. really uh, kind of weave together this uh, economic uh, development strategy so quickly? This is all based on the vision uh, and the good leadership, the vision of becoming a middle-income country by 2020, but also having an economy that is more inclusive, as you mentioned. And for this, uh, it has helped us in terms of developing strategies uh, that are helping our economy to grow. For example, for the next five years, we are now just, just came out, we launched two weeks ago, a new strategy that is focusing on economic transformation, mm -hmm. uh, which really brings in the private sector, focuses on the big infrastructure projects. We are focusing on rural development of which agriculture, modernized, is going to have a big role. Productivity youth employment, that's going to bring in the youth, and also accountable governance. And these are really going to help us in terms of uh, increasing on average by the year 2020, 11.65%, uh, yes. but also reducing the poverty levels by below 20% yes. by the year 2020. Well, that's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. sounds very impressive. Now, uh, Ms. Uh, Anvarpur, most complicated yes. name here. Uh, we know that uh, the growth of the Africa's economy or the continent as a whole is uh, very closely linked also to infrastructural development, mm -hmm. which has been a focus of uh, governments. Uh, but it hasn't done so well. As the mm -hmm. African Development Bank, what are some of the programs that are uh, mm -hmm. being implemented to help these countries grow? Uh, thank you. Uh, African Development Bank, as you know, that one, was one of the main players in the continent in terms of infrastructure delivery, working with the governments and private sector. We think that more and more we should be uh, partnering with all parties, including private sector, government, and other finances to speed up the delivery of infrastructure. Uh, based on our track record, which is very strong and very successful in the last five, seven years, we decided to create a new vehicle, which will be speeding up the delivery of uh, infrastructure in the continent, yeah. which is called Africa 50. Africa 50 will be building our experience, building on our experience and track record, and will be delivering infrastructure projects in a different way. So we target to have two different components. The first one is being project development component. Project development component of Africa 50 targets to increase number of bankable projects coming to the market for all financiers, and also uh, 
decrease the time frame spent for the project development means that in few years time more projects are going to come to the market. Yeah, but, but one thing I'm very curious about even with Africa 50, uh, th there has been a lot of of course emphasis on each country developing their infrastructure <laughs> but we know that for the economy yes. to grow there has to yes. be intra-Africa infrastructural <laughs> development. How well are you coordinating the development of the different countries in their infrastructure sector? Well actually it goes hand to hand. Mm -hmm. Uh, first, you have to develop the national backbones and you have to find a mechanism to connect those national backbone, backbones through the, uh, through the regional projects. For example, when we did the Senegal, four projects to create the infrastructure backbone in the country, everybody thought that that infrastructure backbone is going to be only for Senegal. But today, by connecting Dakar, Bamako through the railway, actually we will be opening that infrastructure backbone to Bamako and Mali, a landlocked no, country. I, th I think that will be a model. Yes, yeah. that, that will be the model. Yeah. Uh, means that look at the strategies and look at the vision and select most important few projects in the countries to create the national infrastructure backbone. Then connect them to the regional projects. That's where Africa 50 will be very active okay. because we will be focusing on game changer transformational regional we'll be, projects. We'll be watching that game changer. <laughs> Mr. Minister, I want to come uh, back uh, briefly to you. We know that, that largely African economies are actually agri-based. Uh, Rwanda mm -hmm. is not known to have all these large reserves of minerals. How have you succeeded to develop a strong economy based on agriculture mostly? Well, agriculture contributes 33% of our economy. Uh, the service sector is the one that is now over 50% in terms of contributing to our GDP. But our agriculture now, uh, being a country that is small but is here, what we did was, first of all, registering all the land so that people have the land titles. And that really allows them to do the land consolidation so that they can now grow, the modern, uh, grow agriculture in a, modern, uh, in a modern way. And this one we have done by really significantly investing in agriculture in terms of irrigation, as I said, land consolidation, inputs like fertilizers, and also improve the seeds. And this has helped in terms of really making it more commercial. And we are looking at it also... Uh, uh, in terms of linking it within the value chain, right from the production to the market, to the processing and to the market. Mm -hmm. And this has helped because in Rwanda, we are, link, if we are looking at it in terms of the business, not just the traditional way of doing farming. And this has helped in terms of contributing. But we are also seeing that there are other sectors, the industry is growing, the service sector is growing significantly. Our vision says that we have to be a knowledge-based economy and led by the services sector. And that's why the financial sector is growing very fast. That's why our IT sector is growing very fast. Actually, we are one of the countries, very few, that has the entire broadband infrastructure all over the country that is benefiting <laughs> other sectors. We're yeah. now moving to 4G, yeah. which uh, is very rare here. Thank you. But this is really a very big uh, contribution for us. We believe we can... Looks uh, like I may have to call you back here another time so we talk more about human capital and, uh, and so on and so forth. Thank you very much, uh, uh, lady and a gentleman. Uh, and uh, that was... Uh, uh, Rwandan Minister of Finance, uh, Clava Gatete, and uh, Tas uh, Anvarpur, Director of Business Development with the Africa Development Bank. Thank you very much. Now, we want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover. During the conversation on Facebook, the address is Africa 54, and check out our headlines 24-7 on viewafrica.com.